All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back with my Two Cents on Octopath Traveler. And we had some new updates this week. Specifically, we had some updates to the Nameless Town. And we're going to talk about those today, both the Blacksmith and the uh, Sheep Farm, as well as this Tower of Remembrance that we've also gained. So uh, you need to be getting on this right away. So let's get into the video. All right, so first of all, to find these quests should just be in your quest log there. Uh, you know, if you don't have access of them there, you need to just complete more of the story mode, but should just be in your quest log. Once you get those, you just be able to follow those and it'll kind of uh, work your way all the way through to the uh, the end of the quest there. So uh, first let's look at the smithy. We're gonna get him and he's gonna come over and he's gonna like work on getting the rubble out from the tower. And as you can kind of see back here, it's just a little bit of the, uh, uh, you know, start of the Tower of Remembrance here. So basically what this is, is we're going to have this uh, tower that's going to have just three zones for us right now. And this is what they're calling the bonfires. And so it's going to have three zones worth of elite monsters. So uh, it's not going to be a huge deal for you right now to make sure that you're farming this because you're probably not needing these particular mats. However, once you get in there and you, uh, you know, kill all of the, uh, the monsters in there, you'll unlock the kind of legendary monsters and then those mats will actually be useful for working on your current sort of uh, uh, innocent armor and gear and things like that that you might be working on for your team. So uh, basically the way you do that is you're gonna have uh, these monsters kind of in here on pedestals and you need to find those creatures in the in the real world in the outside of here uh, once you defeat them out there then they will appear in here to the tower of remembrance uh, you're kind of like remembering that fight and as such you're able to get their drops again so if you are finding that you need drops from these creatures uh, it kind of allows you to double dip you can fight them in here and go fight them in the real world uh, that way you can kind of double the drops that you're getting per day uh, for these uh, creatures so uh, that's kind of going to be the point of this going on uh, basically as they add more uh, bonfires which means add more zones you'll get the higher level zones and things of that so you'll have more uh, use for the items that are dropping here. So uh, definitely something you want to uh, get on today to where you can start working on it, start filling out all of your uh, uh, your monsters in there, make sure that you've just killed every elite at least once. Uh, this will kind of help, help you keep track of which ones that you might be looking for and uh, give you some rubies along the way because you're going to get you know a little bit of rubies every time that you kill uh, an elite for the first time. So uh, that's kind of going to be the beginning part of the smithy. Uh, after that, he will transition into opening his own kind of shop up, uh, and then you know you can go ahead and use uh, his stuff from there. So uh, I have fully maxed out both the sheep and the uh, blacksmith, and I'll tell you, if you've just been kind of working every day, farming every day, of doing your dailies, you'll have plenty of memory shards. They've been giving us plenty of memory shards, so uh, don't worry about that. Is if you've been farming, you should be fine. Uh, with the like one uh, the drops that you're getting from the main kind of three monsters that you're out there killing every day now we have four which gives us some hard lumber but with that first three all you need to do is when you go into the exchange there's a little tab over there that you can kind of uh, trade those in uh, for memory shards you're not going to need those first three items ever again after you've used them uh, so you can go ahead and trade all those over into memory shards to buy all the stuff you're going to need for both the blacksmith and the uh, the sheep farm so um, now, looking over at the sheep farm, basically, you're just going to get some sheep in there and they're going to give you uh, different, you know, kind of fleeces every day. And uh, you can use those to sell for a decent amount of gold so you can kind of see how much they're worth there. Uh, you know, it's one of those things, hey, you may not need the gold, but both the smithy quest and the uh, sheep quest, uh, I think, give you about 50 uh, rubies uh, for completing both of them. Uh, so you're going to free 100 rubies here, plus you open up this Tower of Remembrance that you can go in and get the your uh, kind of elite monsters, you know, kind of taken care of there. So definitely get this done today. Uh, that way you can kind of uh, be able to come back in here and just make this part of your daily routine of farming. Anyway, that's been my two cents.